Synesthetic. Breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload on this channel each and every day, each and every hour. Today is the 28th of May, uh, 2022. And so, guys, the Zimbabwe nurses. Association uh, Zina says uh, health professionals have lost faith in health minister Constantino Chuenga improving their welfare and arresting the collapse of the health sector. Government hospitals have been hard hit by mass resignations of nurses, resulting in the ministry introducing a number of measures such as withholding their certificates of good standing, which are required when searching for work abroad. The Nurses and Midwives Council of Zimbabwe has also said nurses who intend to leave the country must also satisfy statutory requirements including bonding after the council was flooded with request for the clearance certificates. Zina President Enoch Dongo yesterday uh, said that a survey by the union showed that the situation in the country's public health system has worsened. The nurses were also saying when Chuenga came in, they had a lot of hope and trust that the health delivery system was going to improve Dongo said however nothing has improved rather there is deterioration and they've lost whatever they've gained right now nurses are the worst paid as compared to other civil servants Dongo said health professionals were also frustrated by intimidated by authorities in 2018 Chuenga made international headlines when he fired all nurses for going on strike there is a push to bar nurses and doctors from going on strike if the health service amendment bill is passed day nurses said they are no longer safe and free to express themselves including the managers and provincial medical directors who were also complaining that they don't have any access to the ministry's management so that they present the challenges faced by health workers longo said this it made things very worse so what it means is that people have lost hope and that it is why there's a rampant brain drain across the country the health ministry spokesperson Donald Mujiri was not answering his mobile phone despite repeated efforts while ministry deputy minister John Mangiro's mobile was not reachable. So guys, that's the latest here regarding to the health sector and you all know the situation with us. Namira Mushe and Manuesi Zagawanda are in the UK uh, whereby uh, and the, yes, UK you could recruit as many nurses aids and uh, so we're gonna keep you in the loop regarding the situation but somehow mirror as uh, i don't see the health sector issue improver because you know uh chuenga uh, is a soldier so it's command everything and it's a command pay command everything so at the end of the day uh, yes so this is uh, uh daily news breaking news so every day so easily section member to like share comment and follow bless up